Are you feeling called to help others? Here are five steps to get started. Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Jenkins. I'm a professional psychologist. I help coaches, therapists, and other servant leaders to master powerful positive psychology principles that allow them to have a more profound impact with their clients and actually get paid to do it. Here are five steps that I use in my certification program to get you started. Step number one, turn your brain on. Now when I say this, your brain is always on, but different parts of your brain do different things. And I've found that either your brain works for you or against you. Let's get your brain working for you. Look, your brain has basically two jobs, to keep you safe and to prove you right. And both of those jobs get in our way all the time. The keep you safe brain is constantly on the lookout for potential threats. And anytime it identifies something that could be perceived as a threat, it kicks you into what we call the fight or flight mode. Either you wanna put up your dukes and fight or you wanna get the heck out of there because you're not safe and your brain's job is to keep you safe. Well, once it decides on something, then your brain's job is to prove you right. This is something that we call confirmation bias. When we settle in on a belief, for example, the belief of I'm not good enough. Have you heard that one ever in your head? Once our brain settles on that, then it's going to go look for and find and even fabricate evidence to prove us right about that thought. It doesn't mean that we're right. It just means that we know that we're right. Do you hear the difference? So when I say turn your brain on, I mean become very aware of the processes that are going on in your mind already, which puts you in a position of choice, and that allows you to steer important elements of your thinking in a direction that will ultimately serve you well and your clients. Step number two. Notice your why. Now your why is whatever it is that's calling you to help people in the ways that you feel you're intended to help them. For me, I was sitting in an auditorium in Salt Lake City, a beautiful concert hall. It's called the Bravanel Hall. And the speaker that evening was Dr. Sanjay Gupta. You might recognize his name. He's a correspondent for CNN and a brilliant neurosurgeon. Dr. Gupta was speaking to us and he had just come back from a trip to Puerto Rico where there was a devastating hurricane and he was reporting back to CNN on some of the health issues and the human interest stories from that hurricane. Well, during the Q&A, somebody asked Dr. Gupta, what is the most disturbing thing that you've encountered out there. And he didn't even hesitate. He said, it's the unnecessary death. And then he clarified, we get it. People are going to die in a hurricane. That's part of the deal. What's disturbing is all the people who die after the fact because they don't have access to food, water, medical supplies, the things that they need to survive. And even more troubling is that all of those things exist in containers, on ships, in the port, on the island. But there is no distribution process to get it out to the people who really need it. And that caught my attention. This is my why. The principles that I teach in my practice, in my certification programs, save lives. I know that they save lives. I could name people whose lives were saved by it, but that's confidential, I'm not gonna tell you. They save lives. Now, what is the distribution process to get it out to them? That's my why. That has become for me the driving factor behind everything that I do. That's why I'm here on YouTube talking to you right now, because I know that these principles can save lives. And they can save and enrich our key relationships as well. That's my why. What's yours? Get clear about what it is that's calling you to do this. Why is it so important that you step up and show up with whatever it is that you're feeling called to do? That's 
the next step. I've got three more practical steps for you. Before I share those, will you hit that subscription button right here on the channel and then click the notification bell too so that you'll be aware of whenever we have a new video for you to keep you moving forward. Will you do that? So these next three steps tie right into the three A's that Amy teaches. And the first one, step three, is the first of these three A's, attitude. This is all about managing your energy. I have people ask me all the time in our coaching programs or in our certification, I just need some help with some time management, doc. And I'm like, actually, you can't manage time. You can't save it. Where would you keep it? You can't use it any other time than right now. You can't manage time. What you can do is manage your activities and more importantly, manage your energy. So this is what Amy was referring to as attitude. I've also got a little perspective here because my son is a pilot. And you go ask any pilot you know, what is attitude? Attitude is an aviation term, and it means the position of the plane or the aircraft relative to the ground or the horizon. And you can see that a nose down attitude is heading you right into the hard stuff. A nose up attitude can give you altitude, another aviation term, but the attitude is the position. It's your position that will determine your energy and where you're going from here. For example, <sighs> that just is so hard. Okay, that's an attitude. That's a position. And I invite you to see it as such. Because if it's only a thought, you can change a thought. Your next thought might be, well, it really is hard. Well, yeah, compared to something easier, but what if you compare it to something harder? Well, then this doesn't look so bad, does it? That actually ties into one of the core principles that we teach in our Positivity Practitioner Certification. It's always relative. It could always be better, it could always be worse. Now, what is your position relative to it? Choose. Let's go to Amy's second A, which is our fourth step. Actions or activities. You can use either A word here. You know, I, I have to acknowledge and admit that sometimes I get stuck in my own magical thinking. Do you remember that old movie, Field of Dreams? If you build it, they will come. All right, that's kind of magical thinking. And there are times when I get stuck there and I, I'll put together a, a web class or a master class that I'm offering online. And I think now that I've built it, people are gonna show up and sign up. No, it's not if you build it, they will come. It's if you do the activities, you can expect different outcomes. And that's what the activities is all about. You've actually gotta put your hands on the materials and move them around. This is what we call work. And work is a natural law. Matter is not created or destroyed. It only changes form. And the physical method by which matter changes form is called work. You've got to do the activities if you want to have the outcomes. So that's step four. And finally, step five, the last day that Amy teaches, accountability. Have you ever tried to hold yourself accountable for something? Yeah, me too. And what happens? Typically you leave the back door open just in case, right? You give yourself a little bit of leeway because you're not fully committed or you don't trust yourself really to follow through. This is where having a coach or an accountability partner or community that you're a member of that expects certain things from you can be very helpful. Get a coach, join a mastermind group, get involved in a community, do whatever you need to do to build in accountability so that you don't have to trust yourself to not slip through the back door when things get hard. And things will get hard. Welcome to Earth. That's kind of how we roll here. When you put these strategies into place, you will see yourself moving forward and that will give you some confidence that you can actually do this. How open would you be to having a breakthrough call with a member of my team to see if we might be that accountability partner for you? I would love to be on your team this way. Go to the URL on the screen, drpauljenkins.com 
slash breakthrough call. The call is complimentary. We're going to spend about a half hour with you identifying what some next steps could be for you.